people, I have another grocery haul for you. I went to Costco, so much to say. It is Sunday, so I braved the crowds. Ugh. I also am dressed like a normal human being because it's not a weekday, hence I didn't work out. And I had to return a bunch of clothes, so then I bought more clothes, which ended up bringing my total so high. But I was smart this time, and I bought two what is it called? The sizes. The two sizes that I need instead of buying like one size and then maybe it fits, maybe it doesn't, and then bringing it back. And then... Anyway, so I have them both. Hopefully one of them fits me because last time I bought the Lauren Conrad um, pants and well, I'll get, I'll talk about that when I get to that at the very end, but I'll try to put the prices here if I don't lose my receipt. And um, a lot of bad choices? I don't know. Make better choices than me, guys. I, I hope you do. I feel like the the produce was kind of expensive, kind of pricey for what, like the grapes were like $10. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get grapes. I'm going to guess I'm sure they're cheaper elsewhere. I didn't get any milk. We need milk. But they don't sell almond milk at Costco. Can someone explain why? Do they sell almond milk at your Costco? Another thing, they I could not find the chocolate covered coconut almond balls. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm obsessed with them. I haven't bought them in like months because I love them so much. I'll eat like the whole bag in one sitting. But I haven't bought them because of self-control. But this time I was like, I'm buying them. I don't care, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Second thing I couldn't find that they've never had, but a lot of you guys like snap me pictures and send them to me on my Instagram and tell me, my Costco has hippies. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. Mine still does not have them. And um, there's something else. Oh, I couldn't find the crepes, the chocolate, the hazel, chocolate hazelnut filled, like the Nutella filled crepes, whatever. My kids gobble them up and I'm kind of glad that they don't have them because my kids love them so much. You know what I mean? I have to limit them and if, anyway, so I didn't buy those because they didn't have them. Anyway, so I bought everything else in the store, <laughs> so I'll show you everything else that I got. Okay, so here's the haul all together. Here's the receipt, so let's hope I don't lose it before uh, it's time for me to edit this video, which is quite possible because it is Sunday and the hauls go up on Friday, so there's, there's a long, long space of time that I need to keep this safe. Okay, I got some strawberries. These were not a great price, but I can't live my life without strawberries. Ugh. The pineapple, oh my gosh. Last time I got a pineapple, guys, it's still in my fridge because it's still not ripe. So this time I tried to find a pineapple that was like borderline r rotten. You know, you know what I mean? Like look, anyway, so hopefully that one is ripe and not hard as a rock. Uh-oh, Wentworth just fell, but Dad is watching him, so hopefully he's okay. Okay, I got a bunch of lettuce, but now that I'm looking, ugh, look at what happens there. You know, that refrigerated section is just so cold, and I go in there with a baby, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of here fast, so I just grab, anyway, that's what happens. Um, I got two little baby watermelons. These things are so sweet. Got some cucumbers, three cucumbers. I've been eating like one a day recently. Got some corn, bananas. Uh, what are these? Potatoes, and then two things of chips. These were on sale, and so I figured, uh, why not? We always need them. And then veggie straws right away. Wentworth had them on the way home. I opened them up for him, and I think it's the first time he's had them, and he loved them. 10 out of 10 for him. I also got some Banza noodles. Um, I've eaten these. I have not had like this kind of shape before. I've, I usually get the penne from Publix or whatever. Uh, or maybe Target sells them. I don't know. I've gotten them a bunch before and there's five bags in here and it was a pretty good price. Um, but the thing about this is that it's a, um, wah! I think it's gluten free, but it's made from chickpeas. So there's 25 grams of protein and 13 grams of fiber and it tastes so much like a new, it tastes so much like a noodle. Um, there's no like weird, uh, uh, well, okay. If you eat them plain, you're going to be like, ah, this kind of tastes off. But if you eat them with sauce, like you're not even going to know the difference. They're so great. And I love them. And I eat them. My kids eat them. Alex is kind of dramatic. So he's like, oh, these don't taste good. But they taste fine. And I love that you're getting the extra, you know, protein and fiber without eating like meat or, and plus like normal noodles, they're just, I feel like empty calories. Like there's no nutrition really in them. They're delicious. Don't get me wrong, but what good are they? Not very much. Okay. Moving along to some maple syrup. This is 100% uh, maple syrup. I even looked at the back cause I've never bought this kind from uh, Costco before. It says 100% pure organic maple syrup. So I got some, I normally get, um, 
just, I didn't like that it was in a plastic container. I normally get it in glass, but uh, we just ran out of maple syrup and I can't, I can't remember the last time. Anyway, we needed syrup, it's maple syrup, it's the good stuff, get the good stuff. Uh, and then we got some pancake mix. Last time I went to Costco, they had this on, uh, what's it called? You know, like samples, oh, come on, my brain. They had the samples and I was like, oh, this doesn't taste good, but I think it's the syrup that they had on top of it. I hope it's not the syrup. I don't eat my pancakes with syrup anyway. This is more for the kids. I eat it with like either honey or plain, <laughs> mostly just plain. I love pancakes. It's, it's a reason to eat cake for breakfast. That's the old, I think that's the only reason I love them so much. It's so delicious. Anyway, um, so I figured I'd give these a try. There's no added sugar. They're gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO. I don't know, all that good stuff. What does it say at the bottom? It's made with almonds, coconut, uh, wow, really? Cassava? What is that? Is that a new th health food thing? Eggs and monk fruit. Okay, so it's not vegan because it does have eggs in it. It does say dairy-free, so that's good. Uh, and no added sugar. So I'm all about that life. What does it say? Caveman approved? Is paleo still like a thing? Because I know, oh, what's that thing? Keto. Keto is that going, uh, that's the diet that's like all the rage right now. Uh, that's what I feel about keto. I don't understand it. I don't know why people are getting a, I don't know. I just don't understand like eat all the meat. And I, uh, I don't know if you're on it. Good for you. I hope uh, you're feeling good with your life, but it, more meat in my diet just doesn't make me feel good. Okay, anyway, that's enough of me talking about a bubble pancake mix. Do you feel me? Okay, and then I found this more <laughs> when I'm like, more meat in your life. What? And then ugh, all the meat that I bought. Okay, I bought this. They had this as a sample, and I gave it to Wentworth. Um, what is it? Just uh, chicken. It's like chicken breast, sliced chicken breast. I don't know. I'm always like, what am I going to pack the kids for lunch? I don't know what the main course is going to... I never know. So I got these, and um, it was half off. It was like $6 a pound, so I thought... Why not? And then I got, what else? Okay, this down here. So, I, so looking back, I should have bought two of these. And you know what? S another sample. It got me, guys. Another sample. And they were all like Cinco de Mayo samples this week because, hello, Cinco de Mayo is like tomorrow. And, well, not tomorrow for you guys, not for me. But I'm hoping this will stay in my fridge because it's good until uh, May 27th. So I'm hoping uh, we can keep this closed. My family is having like a Cinco de Mayo dinner on Friday, so today, and so we will be eating this. This was delicious. I don't even know. Six layer dip, black bean, some kind of cheese. There's sour cream in there, salsa. I'm guessing that's like avocado stuff. What's that, guacamole? Mm, it was so good, and I don't like any of that stuff except for the beans, so. I don't know what makes it so delicious. Well, I like salsa. And I did not buy the salsa, the Jack salsa. And you know what, guys? No regrets, because I bought this instead. I was like, you know what, let's do this and not do the salsa. And now I kind of regret it, but whatever, I'll get over it. Um, I got some of these chicken strips. These are just good for, I don't know, snacking. And then I got some pulled pork. I normally get the other kind of pulled pork. And this was, I've never seen this before. And I guess they were pulling out all the Spanish things for Cinco de Mayo. And so I went with this one. It was a dollar more than the other kind. And I thought, eh, we'll try it out, see how it is. And I like how they, the picture of it, that sold me on like a corn tortilla with, I don't know, cilantro. What is that? I don't know. Sold me. So I got it. And then, oh, guys, I'm in love with these. And they're cheaper than I thought. They were like $12 for two, two lasagnas. Can you believe it? There's um, sausage and beef. And you know what? I think there was one that was like $11, but it didn't have sausage. It just had beef. So if you're into that, I don't know. Uh, but it's such a quick and easy meal. Well, quick. You have to cook it for an hour. But um, there's like no skill involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to make it from yourself. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, come on, Kim. Don't be so lazy. Go ahead and make your own lasagna with tofu. Because that's what I normally do. And no one can tell the difference. There's a little secret. Shove some tofu instead of ricotta cheese. Ricotta. Do you like how my Italian accent came out? Even though whatever. I'm not, I'm not, whatever. Let's stop talking about that and move on to the kale and mozzarella. Um, I see these every time and these are pretty pricey. How many are in here? I don't even know. There better be a lot though. So I had these for a sample the very first time I went to Costco, I think, and they were pretty good if memory serves me right. So I'm hoping that they're still pretty good. 
but uh, yeah, I don't actually know. And then blueberry waffles back there. I almost got the Eggo waffles because in the morning the kids always want something fancy. I'm like, I can't make waffles right now. We need to be out the door five minutes ago. Do you feel me? So these are good to just throw in the toaster oven and then they can eat them quickly. But um, anyway, I almost got the Eggo ones, but then these sold me. I don't know if the kids are gonna like blueberry. Hopefully they do because they're stinking 48 waffles in here. There was like 72 in the Eggo kind. I digress. Um, these have a bunch, like whole grains and then three grams of sugar and seven grams of fiber, so that sold me. And I hope they are good. If they're not, I'll probably eat them all. Um, the kids have been absolutely loving, even my non-pancake eating daughter, and I think I told you guys about these pancakes, yogurt pancakes. So good, it's like one cup of yogurt, seven tablespoons of flour, like one tablespoon of sugar, and I don't, a little bit of vanilla extract. Boom, pancakes. It's amazing. I don't know how it happens. Science is above my head, but they're so good. Avelina, Eleanor love them, and I love them. Wentworth gobbles them up. I don't even know if Alex has tried them, but I'm sure if he had, he doesn't like pancakes either. Who doesn't love pancakes? But everyone loves these. They're thinner, but mm, so delicious. I got a bunch of butter there because can I tell you guys, I have yet to make this little treat with the cherries. And I got this from Trader Joe's, oh, I don't know, like four months ago. I've been waiting to eat it because I try to control my dessert intake. I try to, guys. I try to. It doesn't always work out. But this needs a stick of butter. And I can't find my vegan butter. They didn't have it at Costco. And they didn't have it at the last grocery store I went to at Trader Joe's. So I was like, you know what? Let me just stock up on that. Hopefully it'll last me until the holidays come around. Anyway, I really want to make that brownie mix. And it needs a stick of butter. So I thought... <laughs> Let me just buy, I don't know, 4, 8, 12, 16 sticks of butter. <laughs> that should do me. Oh, what am I thinking? I got this yogurt. Last time I went, this time was on sale for Wentworth, and he goes gaga over that stuff. So I bought it again this time. Um, and the flavors are actually really good. It's like strawberry, rhubarb, blueberry, and then lemon. I'm, I think there's like more wordy than that, but that's what I can remember. Oh, no, that's actually exactly what they are. I got some brownie brittle for Alex because he goes crazy over it. Oh, and update, he, uh, we got the brownie brittle from Trader Joe's uh, last week, and he says they're not as good as uh, the Costco brownie, as this kind, and they sell this at like Target and stuff too, but that's the brand that he likes the most. I don't like this stuff, I don't, I don't get the allure to it, but that thing is like six bucks, and then that little bag was like five, so. Um, that's a deal. And then I got a chicken. Costco chicken is magical. I don't know what they do to it. I got some bread. And then more carbs. Croissants. These are so good. And I thought, ooh, they're only six bucks for 12? Holy cow. Um, the girls like them. And I still have Nutella in my closet from Christmas time. And I think maybe, maybe we'll crack that open. I don't know. A part, like a part of me just wants to eat it like pudding, you know what I mean? Then another part of me is like, oh, slather it on some uh, pastries with whatever, make it even more decadent. Um, eggs, a bunch of eggs, and then uh, bread. Uh, but can I tell you, I'm a little hesitant to eat eggs these days because they made me sick a couple weeks ago. Apparently, eggs and uh, romaine lettuce, that's on recall. I don't know. I hope that one's not. I don't know a way to look it up. I'm going to have to look it up. But last time, when I went to Trader Joe's last week, there was a sign that says, this romaine lettuce was not contaminated, but there wasn't a sign, so I'm taking a chance and hoping it doesn't happen. Because last time when there was a romaine lettuce recall, I got sick, and then a couple weeks ago there was an egg recall, and I got sick, so I'd, I should stay away from it. I should know better, but do I? No. Okay, and then over here, um, I will show you the pants that I got, and I don't know what size I am. I kind of know what size I am, but kind of not. So um, I got this color, and yeah, what, what kind of pants are they? The, well, they're supposed to be like... Not capri, cropped, is that what they're called, cropped? I've never had this brand of pants before. I don't know, I'm not picky, I'm not a fashion girl. Hello, like look at me. But um, I really want some white pants, which I don't ask me why, I have kids. And um, I need like a light wash, well, whatever. I just thought those were, I almost got pink. But then the pink kind of looked, whatever, it, ugh, I digress. Uh, last time I got pants, they were from Jessica Simpson. And neither one of them fit me. Yeah. Short story long. There, <laughs> there 
there it is. I can tell you the whole story, but it's so stinking long. I don't even want to tell you. It was just annoying. And it's been like, I don't know, a two month debacle about these stinking pants. And I just want some pants. You know what I mean? So there, I hope these fit me. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh. That is it. Everything. Now I have to put it all away. It's always the most exciting part of going grocery shopping is putting the junk away. Well, you know what the most exciting part is? For real, not being facetious, is eating it. But uh, the Costco things are always so hard to eat. I'm not going to like open the thing of yogurt. You know what I mean? <sighs> Costco hauls are the least fun to eat and snack from because... What is there to snack from? Everything's like this big, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna put it all away, and then it's dinner time. Oh, and P.S. We almost bought a mattress <laughs> from Costco. It's like $150 off. Let me know. We might we might have bought it by the time this goes up. I think the sale ends May 13th or something like that. So if you have like one of those, it like comes in a roll. It well it comes in a box, but it's like rolled up. If you have a mattress from Costco, let me know how you feel about it. I should have asked this in the beginning. I hope you made it to the end. Let me know how you feel about it. If you loved it, if you hated it, I need to know. Our mattress is 11, 12 years old. It's so old and it's worn and Alex wakes up with a sore back and he's for like two years now he's like we need a new mattress we need a new and I'm like oh, okay okay anyway so short story long I found a mattress at Costco and it was on sale so I was like mm, maybe this is a good deal it was like $550 and I almost got it the only thing that stopped me from getting it is the fact that I couldn't like move it because <laughs> it's so big and then I found it has wheels at the bottom but with a baby and a cart full of food I couldn't like you know what I mean do both and anyway Short story long, we need a mattress. Tell me if you love yours, if you hate yours, where you got yours from, yada yada, etc., etc. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.